you guys my name is Brittany and welcome back to my YouTube channel you guys in today's video I'm going to share with you all of the read alouds that I picked for our school year for our 2022 2023 school year so <laughs> go ahead and stay tuned for today's video so you guys like I'm so excited to share with you like all of the read alouds that I picked out for our school year I made a video talking about like our homeschooling resources and I told you guys if I happen to change our read alouds I will make an updated video so of course if you guys don't know me I changed our read alouds so <laughs> um I really have been trying to do my best to like bring in like different types of um types of genres and different types of uh, books when it comes to like our read alouds. I really want uh, my daughter to be able to see like different books that are mirror images. So images that are similar to her and windows so she can look into different diversities and cultures, maybe fantasy. So I really took my time in selecting her read alouds this upcoming school year because I really want her to get exposed to other different things. My daughter has been really enjoying like the um, Little House series and and I kind of put that series aside just because I want her to uh, read other type of literature so uh, we may pull out one of the Little House series just because she still loves those but for the most part these right here are going to be the top 10 books that I have picked out for us the past couple of years we have consistently read 10 chapter books so um, I kept it to that just because um, I don't want to be overly ambitious <laughs> when it comes to our read alouds I really want to give us like room and flexibilities and things like that so um, yeah so the first read aloud that I have selected for us to read is The Sign of the Beaver so we're going to be doing American history this year so I heard so many good things about this one this is a sunlight reader so um, I had to grab this one so I'm excited for us to read The Sign, the Sign of the Beaver I have Where the Mountain Meets the Moon. Now you guys, a lot of you have been talking about this book. So I'm so excited to read this one with uh, Brielle. So um, hopefully she is excited about this one as well. So Where the Mountain Meets the Moon. We are also going to be reading A Wrinkle in Time. Now I found this one off of like the Scholastic's fifth grade reading list just because Brielle's entering a fifth grade. I still kind of want her to be able to read like some of those books that are like nostalgic for her like grade level. And also too, we um, are gonna be studying in space this year. So I really feel like this is gonna be a fun one when we do pick up our science book. So um, yeah, A Wrinkle in Time. And hopefully she will like enjoy like this like fantasy type of uh, genre as well so yeah I also picked up The Secret Zoo and again this is like another fantasy type of book it's kind of getting Brielle like out of her comfort zone of like personal narratives that she really enjoys so um, I'm really excited about this one as well now you guys I do want to let you know some of these books I am going to listen to them on audible or it's not audible it's scribe that we have um, just because using scribe and using like an audible form of books have really been helping me out when it comes to being consistent with our read aloud so some of them I will read and some of them we will use scribe um, and sometimes we do a mix of both back and forth when it comes to the book it just depends so um, that is another way that I'm able to be consistent with these books because I'm not gonna lie not every day you can kind of like sit down and squeeze that time and sometimes you need a little help and that's like the little help that I use so um, that's my little secret you guys to get more chapter books in so uh, yeah so the secret uh, zoo I do have this one on scribe now I also have The Year of Miss Agnes and hopefully Brielle will really enjoy this one. Uh, this is a classic you guys. So um, this is a small one so it might be a fast read for us. So I'm really excited to read about this one. We have Esperanza's Rising. Now you guys, if you see my read aloud pick from last year, like some of these are my picks from last year because we didn't get to them. So I really hope we are able to get to this book right here. This book right here is about a young girl who is coming from Mexico to America. And she is just uh, talking about like her journey and just uh, the hardships and uh, just the struggles that they face as they were moving to another country. And I really feel like this is gonna be a great one for Brew Brew to read, especially at this age. So I'm really excited about Esperanza's Rising. 
We also have PSB 11. We read One Crazy Summer in our first uh, year of homeschooling. So this is the second part to it. Um, you guys, like I made a mistake and we started reading like the first few chapters of Gone Crazy in Alabama and that's the third book to the series. So I finally have the right second book. So I'm really excited for us to read, uh, to continue with the series as we're reading about uh, Vanita, Delphine, and Fern. And we're gonna find out all the adventures that they get up to again. My daughter, I definitely think she loves this one because it's three sisters and she is one of three girls. So uh, she really can relate to it. And it's kind of funny when they talk about the different characteristics of the sisters. Um, they're really similar to my girls here at the house. So um, I'm really excited for us to read PSB 11. So the next one that I have, again, this was one that I was supposed to read last year, but we didn't get to it, which is Inside Out and Back Again. I also have Roll of Thunder, Hear My Cry, and you guys know I have been trying to read this one for so long. We're going to read this one this year. I do have a literature guide for this one. I'm not too sure if we're going to do it or not, or if we're just going to read it this year, and then possibly uh, when she rereads it again by herself, she would do the literature guide. So I'm not too sure how it's going to work, but we are going to start off doing this read aloud together. And this is a classic. Uh, this is just one of those reads that are on like the fifth grade list for her to read. So so I hope she enjoys Roll of Thunder, Hear My Cry. I also have Brown Girl Dreaming and I'm really excited about this one. I love the format of this one because she's going to be reading this story through poetry. And um, this is really, really, hopefully this is going to be a great read. Again, this is going to be one that kind of goes along with our uh, history time period that we're going to be doing this school year. So um, I'm really excited about Brown Girl Dreaming. And the last read aloud that I have is Never Caught the Story of Anna Judge. And I heard great things about this one. Um, hopefully this is a good read aloud for us. Um, these books, as you guys are seeing, they are definitely like middle grade readers. Um, my daughter is getting up there. This is her last year of elementary school. Next year she will be in middle school. So I am introducing her to more sensitive topics um, just to prepare her for what is to be expected um, as she matures and as she gets older. So we will be reading this one together. And if we do face any like topics or things like that, it's just going to give us opportunities for uh, discussions and things like that. So I'm really excited for us to read Never Caught. So you guys, like those are all of the read alouds that I have selected for our school year. I'm so excited. I heard so many good things about all these books. So I really hope none of them disappoint, but I definitely will bring you guys like a review video of all of our read aloud books at the end of the school year to kind of let you know if we stayed on track, if we ended up <laughs> going elsewhere and reading other types of books or things like that. So um, yeah, I really hope you guys enjoyed today's video. I really hope you get some like book inspirations and things like that for your read aloud picks this school year. So you guys, thank you so much for watching today's video. I hope you enjoy and I look forward to seeing everybody in my next one. Bye.